beautiful Aries. My name is Victoria from VX Prada. For those of you who don't know, I'm so excited. Today's reading is going to be all about what is coming up for you this October 2024. So if your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign is in the sign of Aries, these are your messages. And I'm so excited to let you guys know that I have updated all the pricings on my website for personal one-on-one -on -one readings. They are more affordable now. I always want to make sure that my readings are affordable to you guys. So I, I've seen, I've seen, I've seen, seen the economy right now we're in, it's not looking too good so um yeah i've updated all the prices for literally every single one of my personal readings i would really appreciate the support you guys especially now it is my birthday month i will let you know it is my birthday month so if you want to contribute to the birthday fund i appreciate you the link is all in the description box below and of course i have to shout out my patreon family i love you guys patreon is where you get early ad free access on all my youtube content so you know what to all the impatient areas out there you don't want to wait for a reading you want even more readings you want bonus readings go ahead and check out my patreon the link is in the description box below after this i'm actually going to be filming an exclusive um fire signs october love prediction so if you want to watch that go ahead and join my lovers here on patreon but in the meantime let's have an overview of what is coming towards you this October oh my god these cards are so silly okay let's have a look let's get into it let's get started Aries I hope you've been enjoying the fall weather I hope you've been slowing down taking care of you we just had a, a new moon and Libra eclipse so please let me know in the comments below how you've been feeling because that is your sister sign that is your opposite energy your polar opposite um and i'm very curious to know how you guys were like managing all of that energy so comment down below okay let's see what is coming up for aries please sun moon rising venus for aries this october let's get into it please what is coming up for aries also you guys my puppy's on my lap if you guys like end up seeing her like she's she's just chilling okay perfect i love it um it's funny because when i started to record this i was hearing i don't care i love it remember that song okay so it makes sense that the first card that comes up is self-indulgence will it focus that's so weird. I was just feeling for Virgo and it was focusing. Okay, self-indulgence, doing what makes you happy. What does make Aries happy? I don't know. Whatever it is, whatever you filled up the blank with, that's what you'll be doing this October. You don't care. So you're all about you, okay? You're also all about your shadow work, your self, your self-worth, okay? Uh, your self-love and your healing, okay? So that's what you're going to be doing this October or at least that's your homework, okay? Um, just a time of self-reflection. Maybe you need some time away maybe you need a time out okay not that you need to be put on time i mean you do need to be put on time out right aries but there's just something here about you spending some more quality time with yourself or maybe even quality time with your loved ones some downtime just to reflect on how you've been doing how you've been feeling as i'm saying this they're also making me think about my physical body so certain things in our physical bodies that maybe we are sore we're in pain from we're uncomfortable from some of you maybe there's like a health checkup that you want to like look into okay but we have self-appreciation also so i feel like this libra season you know treat it as a second birthday treat it as a second an extension of aries season in that sense now we do have a bit of drama yes we have stabbed in the back will it focus i'm just gonna try there we go stabbed in the back so someone is a backstabbing b word okay so just be aware of that um there's heartbreak pain deception separation shocking attack so maybe some of you this is a love interest maybe some of you this is a friend of yours hopefully this is something from the past that you're just healing from okay and not something that could be happening in october but i'm just letting you know already someone is a liar someone is a cheater someone is uh a thief <laughs> okay i'm half kidding but there is someone that you could kind of like watch your back from okay watch your back on okay bottom of the deck we have cupid's arrow and it says have faith love is coming surprise invitation or meeting hesitation okay so i don't feel as though you're gonna be the one hesitating because you're an aries unless you're like a weird aries that does hesitate on things and does you know they're in their heads a lot maybe you have virgo placements like me okay but it feels as though there could be someone i'm getting an apology there could be a friend or an, an ex or a lover that is hesitating to reach out to you because they know that they're they've upset you okay um we'll look more into that in your love reading that i'll film after this um but yes there's something here about 
Yeah, like Cupid's, you could be having a new crush real soon, okay? Or you've been feeling kind of like not really aligned with your current love situation, okay? Your person, okay? Right? All of a sudden, you got Cupid's bow and arrow coming through, and now you guys are just vibing again. So there's going to be like positive energy surrounding your love life this October. Um, but yeah, someone's hitting you up. Someone's hitting you up in the middle of the night like, hey, hey, I'm right outside. Hey, pull up. Hey, I'm here. I don't know. But you're going to be hearing from someone unexpected is what I'm getting, okay? Let's go ahead. I'm going to start off with um, career finance, just like the general stuff um, taking place in your life, like what your wallet's looking like and all that stuff. And then we'll look into your love life, okay? So just stay with me there. Stay with me. And if you guys enjoy these types of readings, please give this reading a thumbs up. You guys, I tell you this in every video, Aries, show the most love to my channel. Know that I love you guys so much. I get so hyped every time I film for you guys because I just know the love that I'm about to receive. And I just appreciate that reciprocation. So just know that you are very dear to my heart and you are one of my favorite signs. Just know that know that like your passion your dedication like it comes through the screen like i feel it too okay cool all right let's see what's coming up for aries in october please career life finance friendships all that stuff what's coming up for yeah i really feel so there's an apology coming through it could also be from a family member or someone from your upbringing someone that you grew up with someone in your neighborhood it could even be a neighbor okay yeah i'm getting something very random aries i don't think i've ever gotten this in my life but i feel so there was a neighbor here oh my god with the tower card yeah i feel like this yeah i feel like that okay so i feel like there could be something here where there's like a neighbor or someone in your neighborhood or maybe even like your favorite coworker. they were going to leave they were going to move away but then like last minute they're not doing that anymore so you were preparing for the worst okay but you're going to bounce back something is going to be okay okay um for some maybe this is a financial situation right you're going to be paying back your debts you're going to be um feeling more stable in in your financial situation there's something here where you are going to be bouncing back so for them to emphasize a bounce back okay coming back from something right it does emphasize that there could be a moment here of complete chaos a moment here where you feel like you are losing control of things so i don't know like if it's possible for you to kind of save some money be a bit more conservative with like what you're spending money on um, if you're able to, you know, not slack off at work and just be more diligent, be more consistent in all these things, I do think that's a good idea because something could be coming, could, someone, something could be um, uh, shocking, okay? Something could be shocking here and kind of just catching you off guard. I don't think it's something to worry about because you're going to be okay. You're going to persevere. You have what it takes, you specifically, Aries, you have what it takes to keep it pushing and just overcome this okay but yes there is something here maybe it's like you have to spend money on something without without um you were that you were not anticipating so there's like an added expense you know what i'm saying okay but yes with the six of cups in the reversal different things here okay so i feel like some of you if you've been like uh if you have been, I feel so you've been like cut off financially from something, okay, especially if it pertains to like your family, so like a family plan, you're out of the family plan for like the phone plan, for instance, you no longer have coverage for something, you no longer have insurance for something, so that's kind of what I'm getting. If you share a home with other people, whether it's family or it's roommates, there could be some tension there with the people that you live with. Okay, let's see more. We do have the king of everything is going to be all right especially if you're worried about your career or financial situation okay i feel as though there's going to be an opportunity here to get back on track so whether it's uh money coming in like you secured a job you secured a down payment on something you are investing in yourself and that money is coming back tenfold there is abundance coming through here with your financial career situation i do see you being looked after and taken care of for some it's actually someone stepping in here it could be a masculine okay it could be a wealthy person a higher up coming through and they're giving you this opportunity they're offering you a gift they're offering you support some of you could really be on the other end the receiving end of a very kind generous donation offer or gift 
Okay, okay, period. All right. We also have the Fool card. This is my travel card. This is also my tra my card for stepping outside our comfort zone. This makes sense because remember we had the um we had the Cupid's arrow card Aries, um, and this spoke about having faith. So some of you are going to be reconnecting with your faith, maybe your religion, your philosophy. You're going to have new insight on life. You're going to have a new perspective. Okay, so some of you are going to be learning. Um, there's emphasis here on education, being in a new environment environment meeting new people you're going to be exposed to things that broaden your horizons that broaden your mind so emphasis here on expansion now Aries the main thing this this month this October is not to be too foolish okay don't don't be so caught up in the stress of you know the pressure of your job the pressure of your financial situation whatever is going on in your personal life in your home life um, in your love life your family life whatever is happening there please don't let that affect like you know the the important things in your life that need to stay afloat so your bills your um your health your well-being don't be reckless okay have fun be yourself be playful but don't don't overdo it the fool card i don't know if you guys see but he's about to jump off a cliff without even realizing it so i just don't want you to do that when it comes to a job or a career situation same thing or like a financial situation because some of you could like you could you could have a serious warning when it comes to your job uh you can have a wake-up call that's what i'm getting okay we have the justice card at the bottom of the deck this is that libra season energy coming through new contracts um partnerships agreements okay signing things off paperwork um and then yes like i said with partnerships this could be also like business partnerships meeting a lot of like negotiations taking place is what i'm getting okay we have the Knight of Swords and we have the Page of Cups. I'm getting um, new information coming your way, an update. You've been waiting to hear back about something. It could be work-related. It could be um, health-related. So you're going to get a call, a phone call, an email, or a text. I'm pretty much, I'm getting emphasis here on like an email or text, something written. Okay, it could even be a letter in the mail, but it felt electronic. So you're going to get some kind of update that you've been waiting on. Um, it's going to be good news. You'll be quite happy about it. This could also pertain to a masculine, okay? It could be about uh, an, an, an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, like a friend of yours. Um, but I'm getting it could also pertain to, um, yeah, masculine that we could be related to, like a brother of sorts, specifically someone younger than us or someone that's, you know, more lighthearted and playful than we are. So they could be older than us, but they act younger okay anyways let's finally look into your love life like i said aries i'm gonna look even deeper into this love situation in the reading that i film right after this for patreon for the fire signs so if you're interested in joining uh patreon it's the lovers tier i have two tiers so it's the lovers tier where we do all readings regarding love so we'll look more into your October predictions, but let's see what comes up for you right now. Let's see Aries in love this October, please, Spirit. Sorry that I speak fast. I just cannot be doing like 22 minute long readings. Like I'm really trying to keep it under 20. Um, I spoke too much in my Virgo read. It is what it is. And then you see me rambling now. Okay, let's see Aries in love this October, please. October 2024. You guys have to give me like ideas on what I should do for my birthday. I want to get a little road trip. Do like a little, maybe like a little road trip two hours away. But let me know like what you guys did for your birthday. <laughs> I've been asking, look at this. This is crazy. Okay, some of you could also be like cleaning up, tidying, organizing, okay? Um, maybe you're helping someone tidy up their place. I don't know why they call you, but um, <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, I feel like someone could be coming over your house or coming by. So, you know, if you're going on a date or something, like clean up a little bit, you know, in case they come back to your place or something, all right? Don't be so messy. Don't be so messy. That's just what I'm getting. Okay, let's see. Aries in love this October, please. Someone rising Venus. Aries in love, please. I love October. Oh my God. Ah, I love fall and falling in love with fall. Okay, five of cups. This is crazy because Virgo had this card, but it was in the reversal. Okay, so either someone's missing you or you're missing someone or you're like missing like being in a relationship some of you you haven't been in a relationship in a while so there could be something here that you are grieving i also feel like because there's so much emphasis here on healing right remember we had the heartbreak card pain card separation but then we also had self-indulgence which which spoke about okay it's not focusing but it spoke about 
healing. So I'm feeling like in love right now, you're just in your own healing era, your healing journey, whether you're dealing with someone or not, you really need some time to recharge, some time to yourself. So you could also still be grieving things from the past, like in your personal life or in your love life in the past, even if you are in a new connection now and it's normal, um, try to like stay aware, stay aware of how your subconscious is still affecting your present. Okay. I feel so there's something here about like PTSD trauma that we may not have realized is still interfering or playing out in our love life currently. Um, if this doesn't resonate, it, it, it could mean that you're meeting someone or you've met someone through a difficult time in their lives, through a transitional time in their lives or something that they could be themselves grieving. So your person could also be on their own healing journey and things just require patience. Things just require time. So give things time and space to heal. Okay, I'm getting... Um, I'm seeing like Scorpio, um, Pisces, Sagittarius energy here. We also have the Queen of Pentacles. A lot of you are going to be focused more so on things that are maybe could pertain to your material life. So you're going to be focused more so on, you know, the task at hand, focus more so on work, you know, finances, um, getting your home comfortable as well as something that I'm getting. You're just looking for something actually long term. Aries is what I'm seeing. You could be also be aligning yourself with someone that shares the same goals as you, um, especially if you're attracting someone that has earth placements, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. OK, um, but I'm just seeing that you're feeling very dedicated and very serious and intentional about your healing, about your peace. You just want peace. I've just seen emphasis here on mental clarity and peace some of you are also going to be reconnecting with your intuition your um spiritual nature okay back you're getting back into your like spiritual hygiene maybe doing certain spiritual baths reconnecting with crystals not that these things not that crystals means you're spiritual well i mean kind of but there's just something here about being more intentional about what you give your time and energy to. It's really interesting, okay? But I'm definitely seeing new communication or better communication coming in. Definitely seeing a message you're going to be hearing from someone. So that makes sense because remember we had that surprise invitation coming through. We have the Empress card, okay? Someone is the youngest in their family is what I'm getting. I'm getting also something here about an age difference. So there could be an age gap relationships on the horizon i'm getting this um virgo energy which is very interesting because i feel so a lot of you aries you're in the hermit mode you're just spending time with yourself and if you're spending time with your loved one okay with your person i feel so there's emphasis here on actually having that time being quality time Sorry, my puppy woke up. Quality time one-on-one. -on -one. That's going to be needed, okay? But we need some quiet time. We need some time to meditate, contemplate. We need some time to actually breathe and decompress. But I'm seeing that there's going to be better communication between you and this person. And there's also going to be communication coming in. So someone is going to be reaching out, okay? Um, especially if you felt like someone ghosted you, okay? They're going to come back. And they're going to explain themselves or just going to hit you up. They're going to invite you out, okay? <laughs> Excuse me. I definitely scared my dog just now. Okay, what else do we have? Okay, we have the Ember card. This is you. Oh, my God. See, I told you. So... October is all about you, Aries. Yes, it's Libra season. Don't tell them that I told you this, but October is all about you. You're just going to be focusing on yourself, okay? And being the version, the very best version of yourself. You're going to be in your villain era. You're going to be kind of like in your ego in terms of building that ideal person that you always knew you could be. That vision you have of yourself internally, you are manifesting it outwardly, okay? Does that make sense? I love it, okay? There's also something here about a father figure also so if you have children it could be the father of your children it could be your own father figure maybe you are a father figure there's something here about a father figure especially one at a distance okay there's something here about um connecting or something about figure out the logistics with this person with this father figure you could be planning something with them okay bottom of the deck page of pentacles new opportunities on the horizons a lot of you could even if you're single right now you could be meeting someone out of the blue okay just being at the right place at the right time yeah that's what i'm seeing and i'm definitely seeing someone making up from you know some kind of argument drama whatever the sorts um there could also be a feminine that's involved here a mother figure possibly so either your person's mother figure your own mother figure um or there's a feminine involved okay and i feel as though 
either she helps like bring you two together she helps rectify the situation or she is told to you know mind her business okay but that's just kind of something that i got from the side i got something here like a a, a feminine energy maybe an air sign okay um that could be hopefully positively affecting your love life and helping you kind of navigate the drama and the stress. For some, it's a therapist, okay? Yeah, for some, it's a, ther a therapist. Okay, let's end the reading with some self-care messages. Sorry about my puppy, but she just wants to look outside the window. That's behind you guys, so that's fine. We're going to take a break after this. Okay, let's see. What do we have self-care messages for Aries, please, Spirit? Self-care messages for Aries. First and foremost, we have movement. So moving your body, whether it's exercising, dancing, okay? We know that the trauma is stored at the hips. What else do we have for Aries? We have dance. Oh my God, I just said dance. You literally had the dance card. So there's something here about movement, Aries. When you move, you get rid of stagnant energy, okay? So also moving furniture around in your home, sprucing things up. It's time for a change. Some of you may also be changing your wardrobe or changing your hairstyle, just changing something small about yourself, but it's going to help evoke new energy, okay? Bottom of the deck, use your hands, okay? This is a great way to meditate, all right? Doing something that requires you to use your hands. It could even be applying makeup. It could be a hobby that you have um there's there was pottery on the picture just now i don't know what else you could be whatever a sport that requires whatever but there's emphasis here on using the hands it makes sense because you had all this virgo energy and virgo is ruled by mercury which is the hands all right so i hope that this was helpful give this reading a thumbs up thank you for your support purchase a reading if you'd like to you know do a little one-on-one -on -one with me and I appreciate you so much. I'm going to let you go. All right. Bye, guys. Love you. Be good. Be safe. Okay. And be sane, Aries. I know how you get. I know how you get.